everyone, my name is C-Mac. I'm from C-Mac's Paperbacks and I'm here to do another book review with you. So this book, it's it's release week, month. Um, it was very hyped up. I knew about this book before even 2022. I was blown away that people were talking about this book and it, it wasn't even the year, the publication year. <laughs> so. I tried really hard to get my hands on this book as a pre-release and I couldn't so the day I was able to get it I read it and I finished it in one day. So first thing this is a book that is easy reading and you can finish it in one day. Check. So I also want to start with I never want my reviews whether on YouTube or on my website to discourage somebody from picking up a book. Um, that's not my intention here. And I just hope, no matter what I say, you uh, if if you feel any emotion about every anything I'm saying, I I hope it it makes you want to go out, pick up the book, and read it for yourself to gather your own opinions and to tell me I'm wrong or not. So I just want to start it out with that. Now, book I'm reviewing was Lucy Foley's The Paris Apartment. Now she just came off, I think, a really high of the guest list. Very good book. I have it reviewed on my blog. I will link it down below. So she came off on a really, like, really high, high ride of the guest list. So I think when she announced her next book, people were really excited. I was excited I, and I wanted to read it right away. And that is my first point where I think I have certain feelings about this book is that it was too hyped up. It, if this book was put on such a pedestal, I wanted it really bad. I know people on social media and everywhere wanted their hands on this book. And it's Paris. I mean, anything, any book with the title Paris in it, I think we all want as well. And it's an apartment and it's like the title, the author, the cover, we all wanted this book. And then you dive into it. And this is where I start coming down and down. So first of all, it, it was kind of a letdown, um, the book. My first point is the writing. The writing let me down. It was very sophomoric. It was very novice. It was very, this is how you write a thriller. It was very different characters, alternating views, and leaving me on the edge of these quick chapters, only to come back and realize nothing really happened and I think a few other reviewers have mentioned that and I agree with them it feels like in the book nothing happens you everything already happened and now we're playing catch up and it there's no real action it feels like there's nothing we're just waiting for the main character just to find out what already happened and it's like you know we're here the story is just trying to get back here I don't know it just and the way it was written, it felt, I felt, it's when you can read a book too quickly. You know, it's that kind of writing. And with thrillers, I'm not expecting poetry here. I'm not expecting someone to describe a beautiful mountain scenery to me. But I need, if the writing is good, if the writing, good, if the writing is sophisticated enough that it makes me, the reader, slow down to really soak in every word and enjoy it or read fast because I'm on the edge of my seat none of those feelings happened while reading this and I think that's really tough and again kind of going along with the writing is all the alternating characters I could tell it was one person saying these feelings sure the the way they spoke there's a little cute little French phrases in there that were translated for us and whatever but it didn't feel, I didn't feel a real distinction between when Jess was talking or when Sophie was talking or whatever. I, I sometimes found myself, if I glossed over the top of the chapter, I would get into the page and be like, wait, who's, whose head am I in? And I'd have to go back to check. So it, also disappointing. Um, then there's, there's some few specific misses that bothered me enough that I wrote them down while I was reading and I'm gonna tell you something there are situations that happen in the book but they're not spoilers I, I don't think this is gonna give away anything with the book 
I'm number one. Just put on the dumb waiter within in the apartment within like five seconds of being there, and then Ben, who really loved historical book historical um apartments, couldn't find it right away and was amazed at it and and then who cares about the dumb waiter? It it was no it gave me nothing for the book. Because I just was like, wait, he's still struggling to find it. And then when he ever mentioned the cool staircase, I mean, all these things, like, just just stumbled upon super easy. And Ben lived here for a while and didn't find any of it when he was invested. It just doesn't make sense. Um, the the In the beginning of the book, Ben leaves a voice text message to Jess. And we don't really know what was all in the recording or not. And the French speaking police officer listened to it and was like, <gasps> you know, like, but he doesn't speak English. And I don't know. And maybe he, it was all an act because he didn't actually care, but it's also like, why are you even playing this for him? And just didn't even know really what was said until she put in noise canceling headphones. It's just that whole thing too. was just, and then what was, again, what was, the point of it, I mean, it was just something in the story. I, a lot of these things that felt really solid in this book really gave us no clues to the end. It, <laughs> I mean, that's it's just it was just like, oh yeah, she's gonna really take this clue and run with it, and then it was nothing. Um, again, and the number three. The re in the beginning when Jess was like trying to figure out everything, the I mean, someone comes up to you and goes, what's your name? And you're like, I'm not, I'm not telling you. And they're like, oh, so this is my full name and this is my whole life story and this is this. And it's like, you guys are some weird secretive family that us as the readers know we're going to have to discover and you're just blabbing about everything. I mean, even I think Sophie and the character was like, why did I tell her all that? revealing information and it's like yeah because it's not you because <laughs> I don't know either I think yeah so again pick up the book if you'd like these were just things that really stuck up out to me that kind of just bothered me and I I'm sad of the letdown I do I would read another Lucy Foley book I think she writes a good thriller she has a really good base here it's just this book again I think it was hyped up way too much and that's a big problem is that the bar was set up here and you know maybe if it was just a book you'd pick up and you read it for just you know the fact that it has a really cool title you you would have loved it but yeah so <laughs> that's my rant I think I went way too long sorry um let me know in the comments below how did you feel about the book did you know about it ahead of time do you feel like it was hyped up? Do you think it was the perfect amount of hype? Am I completely off my rocker? Am I being rude? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Love to hear it all from you. Uh, check out the link below for the written review. And I'll see you around for the next review. Bye, guys. Thanks.